Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about dealing with the frustration when debugging. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how do you deal with frustration when you debug code? Well, I have this process that I like to go through and it's sir it's usually done in stages and I like it I, I really love it when I, I when I ca catch myself doing this so the first thing is of course uh, I I don't start off frustrated with uh, bugs unless one thing happens and that is that this is a bug that has come up several times before then I immediately get frustrated or it's a bug that is due to something that I was really adamant about warning about or something that I said to my, all my coworkers this is going to turn out badly for us don't do this I know that it's easy to do it but don't do it because it's going to come back and bite us and then it comes back and bites us and now it's my job it's well we share the responsibility of course but now the problem is here it's like being um, <clears throat> being the guy who's crying wolf but the, there is actually a wolf and nobody listens and now the wolf came and ate me yeah Anywho, so apart from that, I you grow you grow into the frustration, and then I the first thing I usually do when I get really really frustrated is that I start looking at the code, and I very very quickly become very critical of the code, and I go, who fucking writes code like this? Do shitty 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 code like internally, of course. I start complaining a lot in my head, and I go, oh, this is so shit, this is so shit, why is this, this is not logical, and then I try some stuff out, and it's still, oh, it's so, so, so shit, and what I love here is that sometimes it is shit, but a lot of the time I just realize that I was the stupid, I was the idiot, I, uh, I tried to fix it, but I see that, oh, the, the problem was actually with my code, and then I just pretend like I didn't just rant for 10 minutes in my head about my coworkers code that was actually all right sure no code is perfect but it was working and it was my code that was the problem and now that I fixed my code uh, things are just kind of working again that's why you don't tell that's why you don't say it out loud loud guys never ever say it out loud because you might be in the wrong yourself <clears throat> but that's a very humbling experience and it happens more than I would like it to happen but when it does it uh, it usually alleviates my frustration very quickly it's like deflating the balloon everything goes out uh, but when it gets too much for me I have I'm very fortunate to have very very sociable and nice co-workers that I really do enjoy working with I really do. I can, it's actually funny. I told my one of my current coworkers. He's one of the other guys I'm working with these days. I was switching teams, and I told him, uh, and I told my manager, I want to work on that team because that guy is working on that team. And my manager said, like, would you? Why do you want to work with him so much? Well, one part is because I think that he is the perfect complement to me. Uh, he is like the best partner that I could possibly wish for uh, uh, currently in my software career. And he also has an area of the code under his responsibility that is the, it's the last area of the system that I don't know anything about. I've been working in the other areas quite a bit. And so we switched and it was very I was very flattered to hear that he actually had requested that I transfer. Like we had felt the same way about each other without actually knowing that we felt that way about each other. Uh, yeah, it's not going to get weird, I promise, but it was it felt really good. I've had one of these coworkers before, and he's like, I um, I love that man like a brother. And so when we started working together, I knew that the first and most important thing for me to deal like to have this work as it becomes like a partnership or like a relationship. We were the only two guys on this specific project, right? So we started talking to each other, and he was really open to that. We used traded ideas, and we got to know each other, and we got to this like really good relations, uh, social relationship between each other. And so now, when I feel really frustrated, and I feel like I don't progress, and I feel like fuck this, I just I just hate it. I feel completely comfortable, and he feels the same way. To just an hour in Corona times, he sends me. Uh, we take a video call and just ventilate a bit, and then we try to help each other out. And as soon, I, just the process of talking to him makes me feel better. Immediately, my frustration just deflates 
when I can get someone to talk to, just to get my mind off of the problem and then make some constructive progress. And even if we don't solve the problem together, just having that conversation makes the whole process easier and then I continue and usually I solve the thing before before I know it right. And that's probably the best way I can give you, the uh, best tip I can give you. Create a, like if you have a good social connection with your coworkers, sharing the burden, like it does help a lot. If you're frustrated and you're isolated, it becomes 10 times worse. But if you can, like, I, I think this is true for so many things in human society. A lot of people, like, almost any strife will become so much easier if you share, if you share it with other people. If you're, if you're alone, everything is much worse. So what I want you to take away from this is that the way that I deal with frustration with debugging is usually, number one, I start complaining and bitching in my head. And usually I figure out that it was I who fucked up and then I become very humble very quickly. It's a very good technique, you should try it. And if that doesn't work, I usually get to a point where I'm so frustrated that I feel like I really need some assistance on this. And then at that point, it is invaluable to have peers or co uh, coworkers who have, you have a good relationship with, where you can vent a little bit or they can help you progress. If you have a relaxed relationship with these people, it is invaluable to your mental and emotional health. It, I think it is the biggest favor you can give yourself and them. And I don't think that anybody w could convince me that the most important thing for a well-working software team is that uh, you have a good social connection with the people in that group. It is the most important thing. Everything else is secondary. Have a great day.